Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Carmen with Elemental Design and I am here today to do a uh, DIY uh, with some cabochons that I received from BB Craft. I will leave a link to their store down below. Also, just so that you guys know, there is a $5 off coupon if you use the code CARMEN5. I will leave a link to the product that I'm using for um, from their store down below as well so that you can check it out if you're interested in purchasing um, the same item. Alright you guys, so today's DIY that I'm going to be sharing with you guys um, is this cabochon, the completed cabochon, okay? Now, I have placed mine, let me just um, focus this a little bit, hopefully that's good enough. Okay, I have placed mine in this little container, but it does come in a little baggy. Um, and you're going to get, this is the store right here. This is the item number, Halloy, and the rest of that right there. So if you want to inquire about this uh, item specifically with them, you can do so. Um, it comes with, you get uh, three different colors, and you get them in two styles. So you get a bronze, silver, and a gold, and you get them in a large and a small. Okay? Although this is, um, I think that you can probably find one that's a little bit bigger, but these are the two sizes that you get. I'm um, in this little package and it comes with the setting as well as with the dome that goes right over it okay so for this DIY what we're gonna be doing super simple we're gonna be using some stickers okay and these are Dollar Tree stickers you can use any kind of stickers that you want for this DIY you're also going to need um, some scissors because we're gonna be doing some trimming you're going to be needing some kind of glue. Um, for this one, I'm going to be using liquid glass. Um, you just want to make sure that whatever glue you use is not glue that's going to react with your metal. I know some um, some glues do react with the metals and it causes them to uh, get ugly. So <laughs> um, just make sure that you're using a glue that doesn't uh, interact negatively with the metals. Um, this one works really well. This is liquid glass by Deco Art. Um, so I'm going to be using that. Um, I also have some fine dust glitter, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be using that or not. Um, this is also by Zeko Art. It's called Glamour Dust, and the color is Crystal. So very simple. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to choose a sticker that we're going to want to use, and I'm going to go with this one. I like these um, dimensional stickers from Dollar Tree because they usually have many layers to them, um, and sometimes you can find like really small, um, cute little images on some of these stickers. So we're going to do that. I'm going to get my setting, okay, and I'm going to get my cabochon. So, this is what I want to capture. I want to capture the little bird. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I'm going to attempt to trace over it. If that doesn't work because of um, the coating that the paper has, then what I'll do is I'll just freehand it and cut it out by hand which I think that's what I'm going to do, but you have the option of also um, freehanding it, okay? So I'm going to hold it in place, and I'm just going to try to keep it steady and go all the way around, go all the way around. Um, I want the little birdie. Go all the way around my bird. If it slides too much with your finger, just grab a little tiny bit of double sided tape and put it somewhere where um, it's not directly like over the part that you want, just in case. And that way it'll at least hold your um, capuchon in place. Now I have my um, shape, it's not the greatest shape in the world, but this is what we're going to do to make it the perfect shape. So we're going to put it in here, and I'm going to use a stylus, you can use anything that you might have, and I'm going to just push it in to the edges, okay? I'm going to push it into the edges, this is going to do two things for me, it's going to create the perfect diameter, it's going to create the perfect shape, and I'll be able to cut off any excess. And it'll make sure that um, it'll ensure that my the paper, the image that I have chosen, is going to fit in there perfectly. Okay. 
So you're going to be left with a curved edge. You can see that. You see how it kind of curves up. And if you look at the back where you've embossed it, you're going to get that embossed area. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the image through all the embossed areas or the areas that are sticking out. Okay. See, and that fits just about perfect. And that fits just about perfect in there. So this, I guess I am going to go ahead and add a little bit of glitter to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set it. So I'm going to add some of my glue. And again, this is not considered um, a glue, but it can be used as a glue. It says, um, can also be used to adhere and magnify embellishments. Soap and water cleans it up. So this is a, it dries clear, it's flexible, non tacky, glass-like finish. So like I said, it's like a glossy accent. Um, very similar to that. This is a two-ounce bottle, and it's called liquid glass. So I don't need to put a lot. This is just to seal that in there. And I'm going to use my stylus to just push that in. Okay. What I'm also going to do, I'm going to use some of the glue that is um, kind of coming out of the edges. And I'm going to sprinkle. I've kind of smeared it around. I've kind of smeared it around, and I'm going to add just a little bit of uh, glitter to this. A little bit of glitter. I make sure to avoid the bird. Because I didn't really want any glitter on the bird itself. So I'm just clearing that up. Just a little bit, a little bit of glitter above, a little bit of glitter below. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to grab one of our dome glass pieces. We're going to go back in here, and we're going to add more. And I probably added way too much, and I'm going to set it. When this dries, this will dry clear. Okay. It has a milky finish, um, you know, while it's all sealed in there you really won't see it but once it's all dry everything will be uh, transparent and you'll be able to see your image just fine okay and this one was done with this thicker set right here I used um, I used one of these flowers I think I used let's see I think it was one of these little ones from the bottom that I used. Yep, it was this one right here. And these are dimensional stickers, so all I have to do is pop off the top layer and then I just set it in. I used my stylus like I showed you guys right now, and I pretty much just, um, you know, emboss the inside by pushing into the sides. That's going to give you a raised area that you can go ahead and trim off the excess because you don't want your um, glass piece to not set properly. Okay, that'll make it more or less fall apart a lot sooner. Um, the other thing that you want to make sure that you do is that you squeeze this down. And you see all that excess glue? You want to get all that excess glue out of there. Okay. And you can do the same with the large as well as with the small. Okay. Just cleaning off all the excess. So you just want to clean up all that excess. Just so that your um, finished result is beautiful and flawless. Okay. And you can see already it's starting to clear up. You can start to see um, the little birdie in the inside. Super, super cute DIY. Um, 
super easy to do honestly you guys super super easy to do right. move this stuff out of the way and what a beautiful little touch to any work that you do as far as jewelry making or even if you want to use them for charms or if you want to add this to let's say an album um or to you know any kind of embellishment you can use this piece as as it is you don't even have to use it for um you know jewelry making if you don't want to i do mixed media and um things like this are beautiful accent pieces that you can pretty much just glue right onto your canvas or your project um and it'll add the most beautiful little touch the cutest little touch um, so these are super, super cute and adorable. Very, very easy to do. And again, I will leave a link down below to their store so that you can go and check it out. I will also... Um, add some pictures of what these look like to my community page so if you want to um, see them after they've completely dry and you know high resolution um, then definitely go and check out my community page um, I should be putting it up sometime today it's March the 15th so if you're watching this video woo, later later on in the future you know in the future um, and you're very interested to see how they look at the end of the day then definitely go check out my community uh, my community uh, tab and you'll be able to see it there. <laughs> Thank you, uh, BB Crafts, for sending me these awesome, awesome items for me to play with. This has been super, super cool. And I really love uh, this very easy, uh, you know, DIY that you can do with this. And it gives it that expensive look without it being expensive. I use one of the stickers from the Dollar Tree. Okay. This kit itself, it's not very expensive at all. And if you give me one second, I'll tell you how much it goes for. Give me one. All right, you guys, so the price for this item is $9.30, you guys. Okay, it does ship from China, but I will say that the tracking was really nice. Um, I was able to track it all the way through. They do provide you with tracking number, um, and they also provide you with the link so that you can track that tracking number, and it does actually give you the information about where your package is. I saw this package arrive all the way from when it, load, when it was loaded to when it got to JFK Airport here in New York. Um, and when it made it to my hometown, so I was able to track it all the way through. Um, so definitely you can, you know, feel at ease when it comes to shopping from them. It will take at least two to three weeks for the items to arrive, okay? But that's not bad. When you're buying stuff from eBay, you're more or less going through the same kind of thing as well. Um, and sometimes they're, you know, the tracking is not as easy to track. With them, they send you everything via email, so you have the tracking number, you have everything as well as a link. So... $9.30, you guys, you get all these pieces here. You get three different colors. Oh, this is the other one that I had made before. This was my original. And this is dry already, as you can see. I used the same flower, but I set them in different, um, pointing in different, in different directions. So, as you guys can see, it's super cleared already. Completely, completely clear. This, is, this was done already, like, over a week ago. This was actually the very first thing that I did as soon as I got it. Um, this one's clearing up already. It's only, it's been done. Uh, I did this one earlier today and this one's already clear. Um, this one's clearing up already as well. It's almost there, almost there. And you can still see some milkiness in this one. By the time this is done, you're going to see that clear blue in the back with that beautiful, uh, glitter everywhere. It's not shimmery. It's so pretty. So you get all these pieces. You get, um, you know, the, the equal amounts for... For, for your settings as well as for your cabochons. So you have everything that you need here. The only thing that you have to get is some stickers and some glue, you guys. And maybe a pair of scissors. You might need them, you might not. Um, so yes, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed uh, this DIY. Please make sure that you go and check out bbcrafts.com. bbcraft. I keep saying crafts with an S. is not with an S. No S at the end, you guys. bbcraft.com. I will leave a link for them down below. Don't forget, if you're going to make a purchase, why not save some money? Carmen5. Um, and yeah, you guys check it out. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you on the next one.